what is true zero in ratio scale? If you're working with data and wondering what true zero means in the context of a ratio scale, you're about to get a clear answer. Let's break it down step by step. When we talk about scales of measurement, there are four main types, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Each of these scales has different properties, but the ratio scale is unique because it includes a true zero point. So what does true zero mean? Essentially, it's a point on the scale where the quantity being measured is completely absent. For example, if you're measuring the number of children in a household, a true zero would mean there are no children at all. Similarly, if you're measuring weight, a true zero would mean there is no weight. This concept is crucial because it allows for meaningful comparisons and mathematical operations. On a ratio scale, you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide values because the zero point is not just an arbitrary marker. It represents the complete absence of the variable you're measuring. To illustrate this, consider temperature scales. While Celsius and Fahrenheit are interval scales, where zero is just another temperature value, the Kelvin scale is a ratio scale. In Kelvin, 0K represents absolute zero, meaning there is no thermal energy at all. This allows you to say that 40K is twice as hot as 20K, which is not possible with Celsius or Fahrenheit. Another example is money. If you have dollars, it means you have no money at all. This true zero point makes it possible to calculate ratios, such as saying one person has twice as much money as another if one has $100, and the other has $50. In summary, the true zero in a ratio scale is what makes it so powerful for data analysis. It provides a real starting point from which all other measurements are made, allowing for precise and meaningful calculations. This is why ratio scales are often preferred in scientific and statistical analyses because they offer the most precise and versatile form of measurement.